There's no better way to briskly showcase a quarter of a century's worth of Street Fighter than through the eyes of Ryu. Throughout 25 years and over 30 distinct games, Capcom's man in the tattered white gi has been there every step of the way. With that kind of pedigree, it goes without saying he's one of gaming's most enduring and recognizable icons. So, let's take a walk in Ryu's shoes, or lack thereof, and breeze quickly through two and a half decades worth of street fighting. The game that started it all is ironically one of the least popular. Street Fighter debuted in arcades back in 1987, featuring Ryu as the sole selectable combatant tasked with jet-setting across the globe in order to come face-to-face -face with Sagat as the final boss. Although they were difficult to pull off, secret skills like the Hadouken and Shoryuken were part of Ryu's moveset right from the get-go. While the game began life as something of a one-on-one -on -one beat -em up it was the two-player mode, where a second player could take control of Ken that Street Fighter's defining characteristics began to take shape. Both Ken and Sagat returned with Ryu as he continued his quest to become a true warrior in Street Fighter II. They were joined by the World Warriors, an international group of fighters with their own unique look, moves, and brash victory quotes. With all these clashing powers came some unintended boons, like interrupting one move to perform another in quick succession. Rather than jump to part three, Street Fighter II was instead rebalanced four times, each with its own nuances. In Champion Edition, not only could players take the reins of the four Grandmaster bosses, they could finally duke it out in a Ryu vs. Ryu mirror match for the first time, while Ken and Ryu became more distinguished fighters. Street Fighter II Turbo increased the speed and intensity of bouts, and also gave birth to all new moves, including a fireball for Chun-Li and a red variant for Ryu. In addition to four all-new fighters, Super Street Fighter II added even more color schemes and moves, such as Ryu's fiery Shakunetsu Hadouken. And then once Super went turbo, Ryu and company got the gift of flashy super combos and learned to juggle opponents in the air. And of course, Street Fighter's very first hidden character introduced a radical new course for the franchise. Ryu's next step forward was technically a step back, in time. The Street Fighter Alpha series takes place before Street Fighter 2 and after the original Street Fighter. Perhaps you noticed the hints, like Ryu's return to red hair and white headband? The Alpha series introduced tiered super combo gauges, alpha counters, and the ability to block in the air, but most importantly, Alpha established most of Street Fighter's story. Ryu got an eternally obsessed fan in the form of Sakura, as well as a dedicated nemesis. Akuma was promoted from hidden character to power-hungry adversary, as it was revealed that he was responsible for the death of Ryu's surrogate papa, Goken. And in his search for more powerful opponents, believes Ryu must embrace the dark side to see his full potential. Now we're moving things forward. The direct sequel to Street Fighter II made its arcade debut in 1997, sporting an even more luscious look and an all-new parry system, as well as devastating EX moves and a dash and retreat system inspired by the Darkstalker series. Street Fighter III gave its new characters center stage, with Ryu and Ken being the only playable characters from the original Street Fighter II. However, further editions of the game saw Ryu joined by old cohorts with Akuma in Second Impact and Chun-Li in Third Strike. Meanwhile, the Street Fighter series was taking a stab at the rising popularity of 3D polygonal fighters with Street Fighter EX. Ryu still managed to hold on to the maneuvers he'd refined throughout his 2D career, although he, along with a roster of new and familiar faces, were given new moves to battle in a 3D playing field, such as guard breaks and enhanced super cancels. Despite all these appearances, Ryu still had time to represent Capcom in several combative crossovers, starting with X-Men vs. Street Fighter in 1996. Given that Ryu was now facing Marvel superheroes, it was only fair to give him a much larger fireball in order to take down formidable foes like Apocalypse, Hulk, and Magneto. Capcom then aligned with SNK for a series of team-ups with the characters from King of Fighters, which kicked off in fight and style exclusively on the Neo Geo Pocket Color. But that's hardly the first time Ryu was shrunk down, because Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo did it in 1996, and then followed it up in fight and form with Super Gem Fighter Mini Mix. And that's only scratching the surface of Ryu's many appearances throughout the years. Sure, you can see him in his highly familiar fighting form in the all-star matchups like Tatsunoko vs. Capcom and Capcom Fighting Evolution. However, hardcore Capcom fans have also spotted Ryu cameos in numerous other games, such as Barth Operation Thunderstorm, We Love Golf, and even in the most recent Asura's Wrath DLC and the upcoming Project X Zone. Speaking of that strangely pronounced X, seen most recently in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, this was actually established all the way back in 2005 when Namco and Capcom originally joined forces for an RPG, Namco Cross Capcom. And all those appearances bring us to Ryu's triumphant return in Street Fighter IV. This 2009 mega sequel breathed new life into the fighting scene by retaining key portions of Street Fighter II and III while also introducing its own ideas such as stable online play, focus attacks, and revenge-minded ultra combos. In addition to the entire World Warrior cast returning for a fan service encore, we also saw Alpha favorites return, the first playable Gokin, and several new fighters created just for the game. Street Fighter IV has headlined the world-famous EVO Championship Series every year since its release, 
but the dazzling pyrotechnics of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 are nipping at its heels. No worries though, Ryu, Chun-Li and company are all on board keeping Street Fighter in the spotlight. That's about as quick a look as we can take it, 25 genre defining years of street fighting. And while the game's characters and mechanics helped make Street Fighter a household name, it's truly the fans who made it what it is today. Without you playing all day, every day, for years, there's so much magic that would have never been discovered and used to inform the next game in the series. So while we're busy celebrating Ryu's path to greatness, realize that both he and Capcom could not have done it without you.